In this demo, I'm going to show you how to use your voice to control a really simple game example using Wekinator. Um, the input that I have here is uh, MEL frequency capstall coefficients, or MFCCs. These capture um, how my voice sounds at any given moment using a set of 13 numbers. And this is a really simple sort of platformer game mockup, and we're going to use MFCCs with dynamic time warping to recognize when I say certain keywords. So let's open up Wekinator and tell it to listen for these 13 MFCCs and to control one dynamic time warping model. Now we're using dynamic time warping here because I don't care so much about what my voice sounds like at a single moment in time, but I care about how it's changing over a short length of time um, over the course of a word. So let's give it an example. I'm going to hold down my mouse here when I start speaking the word and release it when I finish the word. Left. There's my example. Let's see if it works. Left. Left. All right. You see this bar going up when I say left, but it's not making the light blink, so let's make it a little bit less sensitive. Left. 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 There you go. It's recognizing that word. It's a little bit slow because I'm doing screen capture, but you'll see this go more quickly on your screen. All right, let's give it another one. Right. Right. Left. Right. Right. Left. Okay, so I didn't have to adjust the threshold at all there. Um, I could also try another word. How about jump? Jump. Jump. Again, this jump is pretty slow compared to when you don't have screen capture running. Let's try left, right. And it's a little bit noisy. Um, if I wanted to make this better, uh, first I would turn off screen capture and make my computer a bit happier. Um, I could keep adding examples. Um, I can add more than one example if I feel like, you know what, the way that I'm saying jump is changing a little bit. Over time, I can give it a new example of jump. I can delete the old example. Um, I can tune this threshold. And I can also start doing more um, experimentation with the settings of the algorithm itself here. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, by the way, the way that this is working is um, each time this green light goes off here, it's going to send an OSC message with a particular name corresponding to that um, gesture type, or in this case, word. So if I go here, I can look at these OSC messages by default. They're output 1, output 2, output 3, and those are the same ones that my processing sketch is listening for. I could change these if I wanted. I could make this, say, left, right, and so on. Um, but then, of course, I would have to change my processing sketch as well.